Hey everyone, welcome back to another Roman Reacts. We are here today to watch another video from The Fat Electrician. Now this is going to be a video that's from World War II about, um, from what I understand, a U-boat sinking due to a toilet. Uh, yeah, that's what it basically is. It's a to some somehow someone uh, caused an issue with, uh, uh, with the toilet and caused the U-boat to potentially sink. I don't know much the details, so I'm just going to be going into with the fat electrician, figuring out what he's going to be discussing about here, and uh, see how we go from there. But uh, before we begin, just uh, I just would love for you guys to give a like and subscribe if you can, and be sure to give a full watch for the full video if you are able to, or if you take breaks and then watch later, then that's okay too. Um, I'm going to be mostly um, quiet during these times, but I'm also like... If I need to take a uh, uh, like a pause on it, I will just like do it randomly and just share my thoughts on it. But most of the time, I would rather just uh, watch the whole thing and just get my reaction through there. But anyway, let's just dive on in, see what this is all about, and learn about about this U-boat incident with the toilet. <laughs> yeah, toilet sink submarine, most expensive bowel movement ever. Um, yeah. That's the name of the title, and I have no idea what it's about to expect, so here we go. Today we're talking about that time in World War II when a German officer sank his own submarine by taking a dump. Yeah. Yeah, this actually happened. But first, an ad. This video is brought to you by Warwood Tools, an American family-owned business based out of West Virginia that's been making sledgehammers and axes for over 165 years. I mean, look at this bad boy. Tradition. It's a 10-pound sledgehammer made out of 1060 high-carbon steel that was forged using World War II era drop hammers. So next time somebody tells you they don't make things like they used to, just know that Warwood actually does. Back to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Type 7 German U-boat. U-boat just means underwater boat, AKA it's a submarine in the German just wanted to use a different name so that they could feel special. But with the Type 7 U-boat right. in particular, a special name just wasn't special enough. No, no, no. They also had to have a special type of toilet. You see, the Germans didn't want to use a septic tank on board for their bathrooms like literally every other submarine ever. You know, because septic tanks made sense and were convenient. I mean, they, they took up a lot of space and added weight. A apparently. So instead, they engineered their way out of common sense and proceeded to make a toilet that would flush directly into the ocean. Which honestly wasn't a terrible idea, except for the fact that you could only flush when the submarine was above water. Which, as I'm sure you can tell by the name, submarine wasn't all that often. You see, when the submarine was underwater, it meant that the pressure outside of the sub was greater than the pressure in the sub, and you can't exactly flush a toilet into a higher pressure system, because that's not how toilets work, because, you know, gravity and science and shit. Yes, science! If you're not picking okay. up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you that every time this submarine was underwater and one of the 50 crewmen had to take a piss or honk out a dirt snake, they had to do it into a bucket because the toilets didn't work. Dear God. And then they just had to leave the bucket sitting out and hope they didn't spill, which is what the medical community refers to as is fucking disgusting. Enter the turd antagonist of our story, ladies and gentlemen, U-Boat 1206. It would depart for its first war patrol ever on April 6, 1945, under the command of 28-year-old Adolf Schlitt. And Commander Schlitt's new vessel was equipped with the latest and greatest toilet technology. You see, the Germans had addressed the issue of not being able to flush underwater, and it absolutely was not by equipping a septic tank like everyone else. No, no, they had superior German engineering, and that's exactly what they used on their toilet, <laughs> because they created a toilet that would flush into a pressure chamber that they would then pressurize to a pressure that was greater than the water pressure outside of the sub, and then they would open it and shoot the feces into the water. Like a poop torpedo. They literally <laughs> made a turd torpedo. <laughs> Nice. Which honestly infuriates me on so many different levels. Because A, they're roaming around the seven seas blowing mud all over the ocean floor and I can't even get a plastic straw 78 years later. Look, I'm not saying I don't care about the turtles. All I'm saying is we need to come up with a compromise where I can pretend to give a shit about ocean animals while also not having a mushy straw halfway through my drink. Secondly, Ugh. and probably most importantly, this toilet- is... I can't attest, paper straws suck. Just go with a plastic straw and just, Get it cleaned or, re or you can reuse it or something like that. That just, ugh. It was so complex and it was so vital that it be used 100% correctly 100% of the time that they had to train a new crew member and his whole job was to flush this toilet. And his job title was, and I quote, the shit man. And that, kids, is probably the best <laughs> example I can give you of why commas are important because there is a significant difference between being the shit man and being <laughs> the shit man because one of them means that you're probably a pretty cool guy and the other one means that all your co-workers are going to talk to you like this shitter was full ah 
Yeah, you checked our shitters, honey. Okay, first of all, having a toilet be so complex that it necessitates its own career path is the brightest shining example of German engineering I've ever seen in my entire life. And secondly, it's important to remember the whole reason they did this was to save space and weight by not having a septic tank. Now, they have a new member of the crew whose whole job is to flush the toilet. He's also gonna need somewhere to live and he's gonna have to eat food. At best, they're maybe breaking even. And to top it all off, they're also launching butt burritos <laughs> at innocent turtles. This is unacceptable. Okay, so U-Boat 1206 is on its first war patrol ever. Eight days into that war patrol, Commander Schlitt has to take a shit. You, you can't make this up. So the commander goes in the submarine, does what he has to do, and then when it comes time to summon the toilet guy whose whole job is to flush the toilet and nothing else, he decides, nah, if anybody's gonna launch this stink pickle at an innocent fish, it's gonna be me. Plus, I'm an officer. I'm smart. How complex could it be? Things promptly go catastrophically wrong and the entire compartment begins filling with his own feces and seawater. <laughs> Which honestly wouldn't be the end of the world, except for the fact that this compartment was also full of high capacity batteries for the submarine. And when high capacity batteries are exposed to salt water, they start to release hydrogen and chlorine gas. Hydrogen oh. being extremely flammable and chlorine gas being toxic would force the crew to immediately surface the vessel, open up the hatch and start venting the toxic fumes. And just when you think this day couldn't get any shittier, they were immediately spotted by the Royal Air Force who began attacking them. The RAF would then critically damage U-Boat 1206, causing the entire crew to flee on life rafts, where they were captured and held prisoner till the end of the war about three weeks later. Commander <laughs> Schlitt would actually survive and live to the age of 90 when he passed away in 2009, being probably the only guy to go to the bathroom and actually blow it up. So in conclusion, <laughs> I truly believe that this may be the most expensive and consequential bowel movement in human history, and if it's not, I need you to let me know in the comments what actually is. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang, out. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts but and gross at the same time i'm like i honestly would not uh imagine being that person to sink uh probably a hundred thousand dollar to probably a million in today's standards sub like that and it gets ruined because you had to take a poo and the guy who's meant to do the job is not there and you decided what can go wrong? <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, well, that'd be a story and a half to, to witness. Like, seriously, like if I was underwater and I had to go take a dump, and I would rather take the bucket. I'd rather put, make sure I put myself, uh, whatever I need to do, in, the, in a bucket and just leave it at that. I'd rather not have something that might unintentionally flush like do you think it would have been so easy to have like an internal system instead of shooting out into the ocean for an escape to that other pressure um, it would be like a regular thing to go into a septic tank that they that that would have been far easier instead of just doing this weird modernized crap <laughs> quite literally <laughs> oh Ger german engineering and german humor they don't match <laughs> Anyway, I enjoyed this one. It's a short one, yeah, but I did enjoy it. A little good history lesson, although a very different and dirty history lesson, but one that's like really kind of interesting. It's all the same. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a great time. Um, if you wanted to support Fat Electrician, I'll put, post a, a little link for him for you guys, guys to watch. If you guys want to check out some random videos or even that subscribe button, that would be definitely helpful because I would love to get to 2K subs eventually. I just got to keep on grinding and keep on working. So anyways, guys, hope you had a great time with me watching this um, crapper of a, of a video. And I'll catch you all the next one. So Romans, salute. If you like Roman's content and wish to see more, like and subscribe to continue to support the channel.